Hey guys, welcome back. So today I wanted to film in the living room because it's the most gorgeous spring day. I had this video planned for a little while now, but I think it's a really good day to tackle it because the lighting in here is like nice and sunny. I'm actually filming this because I want to have a shortish video to edit for this Sunday because I had filmed my collab with Charmaine last weekend and I mistakenly thought it was going up this weekend but it's actually going up next weekend when you're watching this so I need to quickly put together another video but this has been on my to-do list for a while now which is refreshing my IKEA greenhouse cabinet but I had the idea to turn it into a Hoya cabinet since I built this cabinet, I don't remember how long ago it was now. It's definitely been over a year. I've done a few updates, but I wanna say the plants in there currently right now, it's a mix of Hoyas, some Aeroids, a Begonia. It's a little bit random. I'm looking at it right now because it's just right here. Some of them do well, some of them don't. And the reason for the ones that don't do well is because I don't go into that cabinet that often to water. So the idea behind making it a Hoya cabinet is to make it so that the plants all need the same amount of care. The I can go there and water all of them at the same time. Um, they're pretty much all gonna be in pond. So they're gonna be drying out pretty routinely and I've acquired a lot more Hoyas since building that cabin in the first place so I think I have enough to fill it out now and I can just have them like kind of twirling all over the place that's the idea at least so I'm gonna go through and first I'll show you what it currently is like right now all the rigs I've done to it so far it's not a ton but a lot of it will stay the same with the update and then I'm gonna probably time lapse me taking out all the plants. I might stop the time lapse every now and then to just explain something if I need to. Otherwise, I'll just throw some text up on the screen. And what else? All the aeroids in there currently right now are gonna go upstairs to my plant room. A lot of them are outgrowing um, poles, but they're all on traditional moss poles, which I'm like, I'm so done with. I don't want them in my house anymore. I just want the lazy clear moss pole from here on out. So there's a lot of plant chores in my future, but for now we're just gonna focus on getting the Hoyas moved into their new home and um, I'll come back at the end to show you the finished result, give you a little tour of who's in there. And I think that's it for the intro, so let's just get started. All right, so first thing, sorry if the audio gets a little bit worse from here on out. I need to do external miking for this camera and I just can't do it when I'm like mobile like this, so. This is just the regular camera audio right now. I'm just gonna show you what I've done to this cabinet so far. So this is the Mills Bow Tall in black. And lighting wise, I have one Monios light up here that snakes out through the door. So you can hear like, it really does creak. Oh, it's not doing the creak. Dang it. Oh yeah, you can hear, yeah, the creak here. It's because of the cords. Um, I really, really like this light because it's like a really nice warm white. It complements the room quite well. It doesn't make the room like super orangey. And then down here, I have a Barina light. This is where the spider lives, by the way. You can see, I'm gonna get rid of that spider web. This is the one that I put into my tent. So this is only 10 watts. I put the 10 watt light down here because I used to have a lot more anthuriums down here. I used to have a big forgettii here that currently is at Jing's house because I am trying to hybridize it with one of her plants. Um, they're both flowering at the moment. So yeah, this, this area is quite empty, but I'll show you the plants later. Um, rigging wise, I've gotten rid of one shelf, so there's only um, two sections. This is a wire shelf that was cut to size. This was not done by me, but I know that Aaron had it done by someone. I don't remember who. I have suction cup hooks. You can see at the back there, that's holding up this grid, which some little like basket shelves are hanging off of. And then down here, I have them hanging off of this wire shelf using S hooks. This grid, I tried to do like a mossy background. So this used to be live moss with a coir, coconut coir sheet background. Obviously the moss is no longer live. There was sphagnum moss, you can see some moss there. Some live uh, sheet moss there. 
I don't really mind the dead moss look to be honest. I do want that background still there. Like the alternative is to have just empty grid, which you can see behind the cabinet. And currently I'm kind of storing some like extra wire shelves and stuff back there. You can see it one poking out right there. So I don't really want to show the clear background. So I'll probably leave this grid as is. What I'll probably do is add another Barina strip here because I have some extras. I just ordered some. And the idea is to have it a little bit more light down here because these are 10 watts. That I believe is 24 watts. So I want maximum lighting for my Hoyas. Um, I do not have a hole cut out at the bottom to snake any um, cords out of. I want one, but I didn't do it before I built it and now I'm just too lazy to do it. So that's the story of my cords. So everything kind of snakes out here. It's not the best. Um, in terms of weather stripping, so this cabinet does stay quite humid. Um, I don't know where the, what does the hygrometer read? The hygrometer is reading 50% right now because I've had the cabinet open for the last hour. But usually with it closed, it goes up to about 80 to 90%. And that's because I have this weather stripped with this like foam weather stripping. I will link the one that I use um, in my description. It works quite well, but it is really, really soft. So where the cords kind of bump it, they do get all like mangled like this, as you can see. But it does work, so. It's, I think it worked for me better than the ones that are like flaps that kind of like fold on the door cracks, if you know what I'm talking about, the 3M type. Um, I'm not, I don't really have any complaints about the weather stripping, it's just that it doesn't stay really straight. So this side is fine, but this side with the cords is all mangled up. But once it's closed, you don't really see it, so I'm not super bothered by that. I think that is it. So I'm just going to show you which plants I have in here. Starting from that back corner, I have a Hoya Sarawak. This is from Jing. It's not the easiest grower. And I think Sarawak's the same as Macrophylla, if not mistaken. Next to it in that little pot is my uh, Hoya Eves Rocheri. Severely underwatered. It's dropped a few leaves. We're going to fix you up. This is my Hoya Clemenciorum. You've seen this before if you watch my videos. This is my Hoya Callistophila. Still hasn't grown a leaf for me yet. Still very rooted, but stubbornly not growing. This is my Hoya Vitilinoides. I showed that in my last video. This is a very neglected Hoya Sigillatus. And if you've seen uh, Charmaine's videos. This is the Sigillatus that I came from, but it is crazy, crazy neglected, in need of a chop. I just, I completely ignore that guy. Um, back here is a kind of like a philodendron tenue, but not quite. It's a really interesting plant. All the lobes fold back like, if I just unfold it here, they all fold back like that and it has a red stem under certain lighting conditions. I do have a regular philodendron tenue and it's not quite the same, but it's really, really, really similar. Back here is my Epipyramum panatum albo. It's just growing up the back of this wall. Um, it's actually turning out a lot prettier than I expected to. I just kind of shoved it back there. So this one will need a pull um, and some attention. In front of it is a Hoya Rinzii Borneo. So I got this from Crystal Star Nursery. It hasn't grown, seems to have rooted, so it's just a waiting game now. Maybe when the weather warms up, it'll get going. Um, here is a Philodendron Gigas. This was a gift from Charmaine, it was a Christmas gift, and it's outgrown this pole by you know, a good amount. And I'm probably gonna chop the top off and get that onto a lazy pole. Down here is a philodendron billetier, also a trade from Charmaine. This is the top cutting off of one of her plants. It's in pond. Just pushed out a new leaf. Uh, down here, Microsorum thailandicum. I am not sure if it wants higher light than this. It's grown a ton, but I, they're not that blue, but I've also read that the blue is like a mechanism to deflect light. I'm not really sure, but 
if it continues like this, I'll probably get into higher light. Um, above it, here is a Hoya Valme Oriana. So this is the Manzanita wood that I was talking about in my last video, like the aquarium wood that I kind of like sneaking up Hoyas on. Um, this plant is definitely struggling a little bit. It's not growing very much. It grew a little bit and then it stopped. Um, it's vining, but not really producing foliage. So we'll figure that out. It's, I know it's not, that's Huxley at the gate. Pounding to get out. Hux, I'll take you out in a second, okay? It doesn't take up water very much. So I'll probably have to like take this out and assess, assess, assess the situation. Assess the situation. Assess the si assess the situation. This is my Anthurium when lingeri. The last leaf was like really wonky, but it's just put out a new one right there. Will you focus? Come on. There's the new leaf. Um, I am just pounding this thing with Calmag right now, and I'm hoping that this leaf comes out really nice and strappy. Back here is a Philodendron Sodoroy. Desperate need of a chop and repot and on a lazy pole, like this is like my most hated sound ever now. This is a begonia, uh oh, you're stuck. Begonia Benigo Pink. Let's see if I can show you. There we go. It's a pretty brilliant begonia, but I've underwatered a bunch, so it's lost a lot of leaves and it's completely bare down here. So what I'll probably do is chop it up here and reroute it and just kind of maybe get rid of the rest. This is my Anthurium Vici Narrow form. It's the newest leaf here. It's not very big, but I had chopped it and repotted it. Um, hopefully it'll start growing bigger this year. They are really slow, I find. And I've also heard that from other people as well. Um, so it's just, just a waiting game, I guess. This is my Hoya CB Joy Splash from Jing. This is a Hoya. Anthurium Valenorum. It's not looking super hot right now. This one's yellowing off, if you can see. I did underwater it at one point, so they pushed out this leaf and it didn't fully form. It's hardened now, it just hardened off like this, but immediately it pushed out this one. So I will definitely keep on top of the watering, but um, whenever a new leaf comes in on an Anthurium, I always make sure to really water it well and often but I didn't notice that one come out and um, the substrate just completely dried out so my bad um, back here is a dead ficus alii that was a gift from Charmaine but it didn't really make it this is a Makoti's Sandariana another jewel orchid down here this is a Ludesia discolor or maybe a hybrid not really sure I, I oh my god it's growing out the side of the holes. This needs a rescue mission for sure. Um, this is my Hoya, 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 Hoya Polynera Broge. Um, I showed this before. This is my from my friend Carmen. It seems like it's rooted because you, you can see there it's pushed out a little vine. So I'm super excited about that. This is my Hoya Nicholsonia New Guinea Ghost with the three leaves coming in. Focus. Um, next to it is a Hoya chicken farm. Not rooted, but, no wait, it is rooted. It's not growing, but hopefully someday soon it'll start growing. This is a Hoya carnosa, was chopped from a legit Russian Wilbur Graves, but it's not Wilbur Gravesy anymore. It's just like kind of speckly, but I still think it's adorable and a philodendron tortum. This one I think will be a lot happier in my tent where I can stay on top of the watering a little bit more. I'm just hoping to get it nice and big this year. And then last plant down here is my philodendron pink princess. I think it got a little bit too much light. I'm trying to show you, if you can see on the leaf there, it's a little bit kind of dull and browny. It has that discoloration. Um, and it's getting a little bit smaller. The newest leaf snapped, unfortunately. This needs to be chopped and regrown on a pole or something. It's kind of root bound in this pond, so I will rehab you, don't worry. I think that's it for all the plants. So I'm gonna take Huxley out for a week and come back and just start 
on this project. clean up the pond. Oh, here we go again. right now I can't see the viewfinder but I'm gonna hang this espiace up on the wall so to do that I'm gonna take a single hole punch just make a hole in the back right here 
And then I'm going to snake an S hook in there. I'm gonna do this. Okay, so this is the finished result. I really thought I had more Hoyas in this. Actually, I do. Um, I have some bigger ones out on my living room shelf, but I don't feel like putting it here, like my big Hoya Compacta, a Hoya Weyetii. I'm just gonna leave them out there, but for now, I'll just show you what I have. But first, I'll just show you the changes I've made. Very minor, so I've added those suction cup hooks there. You saw the first one fall. I've added a couple of reinforcements here. Hopefully it holds. I held off putting more um, shelves like this on here just to reduce the weight that's going on it. And then down here, not really any changes except an extra Barina light here. And I've gotten rid of the spider that lives there. So I'll just start up on this top corner. So again, my Hoya Callistophila, Hoya Clemenciorum. I added this Dishidia Oyantha variegated. Is it Oyantha? No, that's not Oyantha. Dishidia something, million hearts variegated one that used to live in my EXO. This is my Hoya SPH that I showed in my last video. That's the Valme Oriana. Um, down here is my Hoya Compacta Variegated, the Alba one. This is my Hoya Valenorum that I love so much. This is uh, Hoya Pachiclata, so I can kind of vine up this piece of wood that I have attached to the grid. This is the Hoya Rinzii Borneo you already saw, Hoya Sarawak, Hoya Vitellinoides. Um, this is a Hoya Lambii Af. I'm not sure if I showed this, but it is growing. Two new leaves, there's one, and there is the other. This one's not quite hardened yet. The Microsorum Thailandicum. So that's it for this top shelf. And then down here, the CV Joy Splash. The macrophylla, so that kind of takes up the corner there. Um, Hoya obovada variegated, inner variegated. Um, this is my Hoya fuoensis with a little Hoishkiliana variegated prop that I'm going to get potted up soon. This is, I forget the name, uh, this was a prop from Charmaine. I want to say P Panchoy. That's that's wrong. <laughs> I'll get the name up on the screen. This is my Hoya, uh, what's it called? SP Tangamus. Hoya SP Tangamus. Hoya Larissa. This is the Eve's Rocheri right there. This is my Hoya H074. Um, up here, again, the Nicole Sonier, New Guinea Ghost, Brogue, Polynera Brogue, uh, Chicken Farm, Reverted Wilbur Graves. This is a Hoya Sulawesiana. Hasn't grown another leaf, but it's vined. Um, I don't, you can't see it, but it goes all the way down there. The Sigillatus, and lastly, not a Hoya, but this is my Zero Sisio Stenguyai. It's growing really cute, but probably needs a repot soon. So yeah, this is the finished result. 
it's quite empty, I'm not gonna lie. Um, plenty of space to fill with more Hoyas. Let me get you to the second shelf here. I'm gonna test out those hooks for a little bit longer to see how it holds the weight before I add more to it because I don't want Hoyas to come crashing down. Yeah, I have lots of space to add more Hoyas, so Jing and I are gonna have to have a little bit of a conversation and I'll have to save a little bit more money to purchase more Hoyas to fill this up, but that's gonna be a fun part of this year is, you know, expanding my Hoya collection and getting more big veiny guys in here. I want it to look like just a nasty dumpster Hoya jungle. I feel like it would be a little bit of a shorter video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you did. And next week is going to be my second collab with Charmaine. I'm super excited to get that video up. It was really fun to edit. And Jing makes a little bit of a cameo. I know a lot of people are gonna to wanna to meet Jing on YouTube. So yeah, that's it for today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.